everyone welcome to my channel this is reading truth to Roll by clara i am clara and today we are reading truth today we're gonna read for the sign of virgo now i just wanted to let you guys know this is a general reading um so it may or may not resonate for some of you um do take what resonates leave behind what doesn't um if it doesn't resonate then it's just not your story um this is not a personal reading and if uh for my subscribers i wanted to say thank you for subscribing and if you haven't subscribed and you want to see uh my videos as they come out um just hit the subscribe button it's free of charge no charge for it and it helps build my channel and also okay so we have the three of cups in the reverse we have the star card we have the two of swords now the uh, in the recent past the six of wands you also have the king of cups in the foundation you have the four of swords oops what was that? That was the Five of Swords. There could be interference here with the Five of Swords here. The Knight of Wands in the reverse. I feel like someone is coming out of clear energy here. Knight of Pentacles wanting to come direct. But it's going to be slow. This is going to be someone who's a clear in and out energy here. You have the Ten of Pentacles. You also have the Queen of Wands for the outcome. And you also have the Page of Pentacles. You also have the Queen of Pentacles in the bottom. And you have the Page of Wands at the top. All right, let's dive so <clears throat> we have the three of cups in reverse which tells me someone could have wanted a reunion but it's not coming together it's not happening um someone may want to celebrate with you or come together with you but they can it's just not happening at this time someone here may need a healing here um, with the star card representing aquarius also, someone could see you as a star, um, someone very beautiful, someone in their femininity. Um, you could also be dealing with an Aquarius because the star represents Aquarius as well. In your crossing here in the challenge position, you do have the Two of Swords. The Two of Swords tells me someone here needs to make a decision between two people, two situations here. And someone here is in the King of Cups energy. So someone here is full with emotions here. There's a lot of love here for someone here. This person is like feeling you deeply, like, or vice versa. But there's like a lot of emotions here, deep emotions here. And it's keen energy. It's something that's real. You have the Six of Wands. The Six of Wands is this person. It's like you're the center of their focus, like the focus of their attention here. You have their full attention. They see you with passion, with desire. The Six of Wands represents the fire signs. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius here. <laughs> Excuse me. Oh, I don't know where that came from. <laughs> I'm sorry. That was like my throat. It was weird. It was almost like if they take, if you take their breath away or something like that, that's kind of almost what just happened to me. That was weird. Um, but yeah, it's like this person is watching you somehow here and you really have their full attention here. They also understand that you can be someone who's very beautiful and that you may also have other people's attentions uh, as well. You also have the Four of Swords here. The Four of Swords tells me that someone could be stuck in their head either about you or you could be stuck in your head about a, uh, someone here or situation here. Um, it also says that you may need some self, uh, self care, like you may need to rest more or rejuvenate a little bit more here. Or well, this could be um, the other party here. 
not necessarily you, but maybe someone around you that needs to get more rest here. You also have the king of wands. I feel like if there was someone in an in and out energy, like a player type of energy, they're coming out of that player energy. This person is starting to strategize and take things seriously about you here. This person is wanting to come towards you here seriously. It's like they're not trying to come in this player energy here. This person sees you as very loving. You have the king and queen of cups here. So it's like mutual love, mutual, you know, it's the same feelings for one another here. With the queen of cups, you have Scorpio. Um, this is water signs. So for me, it could be like a Scorpio or Pisces. Even a, a Cancer. You also have the king of cups here. Again, representing like Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. So it's like equal emotions, equal give and take, both want this in the environment. So you may be feeling this right now in your environment, <clears throat> feeling all good and bubbly and tingling inside. This person is very serious about you here. In the hopes and fears, you have the Ten of Pentacles. So the Ten of Pentacles tells me that, you know, this is something that can go the distance here. It feels like it's guided here um, where like your ancestors are coming together and guide, guiding you together, like to come together here. If uh, both have children or family, you're willing to merge the families here, come together, move in together. It's like someone already sees this here and is hoping for this. I don't feel like there's any fear here, except if that doesn't happen, you know, because this is what they actually want. You may be wanting this as well. I also see here with the Queen of Wands, you know, it's like this person sees you with a lot of passion, a lot of love. Um, this, per this person um, sees you as very hardworking, as very beautiful, very fiery, very sexy. Uh, and when they look at you, they look at you with that passionate, you know, with like you're so beautiful and they have they burn for you, that type of thing. I see this may be like the beginning of something because it is the page of wands here. So even though it's something that could be starting out here, it's something that that's growing quick and deep and real. It's like something that's going to go the way. It's a new opportunity. It's fresh. It's, you know, it's something that um, it's going to feel like uh, you're going to feel very happy, very energetic. It's going to bring a lot of fire. You may also have someone else who's watching you, a Virgo or Capricorn or Earth sign here uh, that could be like a husband, uh, possibly like, a, let's say if you're in a relationship with this person, so you could be with this person and starting to feel something for someone else here. And this person might, might catch a hint to it, you know. I also feel like there's going to be messages come in, a lot of passionate messages, um, very sweet messages as well. Let's do some clarifiers. Grab these. I can't even make this up on the split. I feel like the challenge here is like you're want, thinking about cutting someone out here because you want new love to come in. You're ready for new love. I have one that just flipped in my hand. It was the Empress card, which is crazy because for me, it just flipped right in my hand. But for me, this represents Virgo or Libra here. It represents, you know, the divine feminine, and that's what you are, Virgo, the divine feminine for the females here. Having it together, this person could want to see you, uh, sees you as the mother of their children, wanting to possibly even have children with you. Someone is at an indecision currently right now, and that's why there's really not a coming together right now. There isn't a reunion at this time. So someone wants to manifest like healing. They want to heal a situation where um, you could have felt manipulated by this person somehow, but they want to heal that situation. They want to manifest a healing between you two in this connection. They want to manifest you in a relationship with you. They want to be with you. 
yeah this person in the crossing you need to cut something out or someone out because someone wants to grow something here with you with the seven of pentacles it's like they want stability new roots a new home um grow family yeah again so again the two of swords is here someone here needs to make a decision because you have it in the challenge and then you have it here so someone may make a decision to cut someone out so they can be with this um king of cups or they're going to end up cutting this king of cups out but look who came back in oh my god in the recent past the king of cups is here so this tells me this person is like really wanting like really feeling for you this is real love wow you also have the knight of cups so this person could also want to um be romantic with you it's like this person can have fresh good energy this person definitely has to be a water sign you have fresh energy here someone wants to be romantic take you out on a date do something really nice and romantic with you here and you're thinking about that because that's what you also want you think about it you, you want that romantic moment with this person wow the lovers lovers represents twin flame energies it's representing wanting a reunion or wanting to come together and make a union someone sees you with very loving eyes and is putting you on a pedestal you make them smile someone is definitely gonna come towards you because you have the two of cups it's like this is your divine counterpart and they know it like it's like it's like when you know you know it's when like when you know you know you keeping this a secret but you have good intuition about it this person sees you as very successful as having it together um the challenge is like they want to get you out of this singlehood if they see you as being single or not with them they want you to be with them so the challenge is being single to come together with this person as well if you're not single this person may you know it's like you may need to become single because it is in the challenge position you may not be single at this time and would need to become single to be with this person i also see here the will of fortune is here so with the will of fortune this tells me good things are going to come in for you so it's like you need to make that decision to cut someone else someone out out excuse me i can't speak <laughs> You need to make a decision to cut someone out so you can have true love. You have to cut what's no longer serving you. Yeah. This person wants to be an emperor for you. This is the highest of the highs in the kings. This is above a king. This is the emperor. The emperor tells me that this person is willing to make moves, do what they have to do, be strategic. But they want to come together with you. They want to build something with you. They want to give you the Ten of Pentacles. That's marriage, commitment, stability. Look, they see you as, listen, they see you as beautiful as the Empress. So you have the Empress and the Emperor here. They want you to be their Empress here. It's like they want you to go from the Queen of Wands to the Empress, to be their Empress here. Oh, my God. They may even want to have children with you and the ace of pentacles flew out which i didn't even have to keep shuffling but something told me to and there it is the ace of pentacles tells me they want to give it all to you Ugh, i can't make this shit up in the bottom excuse my french in the bottom of the deck you have the ace of pentacles at the top of the queen of cups again they see you as the queen of cups as someone loving someone nurturing they see you as the empress it's like you have all the good qualities of all the queens within you here this person sees you as the divine counterpart they're strategizing to come to you they're gonna come in slowly however they have to they're gonna have the patience they're not uh they're not going anywhere this person is gonna do whatever it takes to make you their empress Woo! <laughs> I love this. I mean, this is, it doesn't get any better, honestly, guys. It really doesn't. Um, they, yeah, they're in love. They're, they're head over heels in love. This person is constantly thinking about you. You're in this person's head constantly. 
I say if you're in a, some kind of relationship with someone here, I, I say uh, you need to be careful because I feel like this person could be like hip to what's going on here if there's another party here. But this person is like they bring this fresh energy, but it's like mature energy. It's like there's love. There's everything you wanted. There's, you know, the admiration. The um, They put you on a pedestal. They look at you in such a way it makes you feel loved. It makes you feel wanted. Um, this person wants to make you their wife one day, um, and it's going to happen. This person has a lot of desire for you, a lot of love for you. So it's not just like a sexual thing, but it's actually actually a love thing. I love this reading, guys. I don't know about you guys, but I don't even need to go any further with anything else because this just sealed the deal for me. So I'm going to leave it at that. I want to say sending love and light. Namaste and God bless my friends until next time. And don't forget to subscribe if it resonated. Take care. Bye.